In Washington today, a change in tune. With the VA's top official now headed out, a flood of ideas are now rolling in on what should be done next. Everybody who's out there waiting, get them an appointment. A business as usual cannot continue. We have got to make sure that in every part of this country, we have the doctors and the nurses that we in fact need so that you don't need long waiting periods for our veterans. Lawmakers want a plan that would allow veterans to seek care outside of the VA health care system. Here's Pennsylvania Congressman Scott Perry. So maybe the input happens at the VA to determine whether your claim is valid and you know, go through that process, but where you actually get the care, maybe that needs to be the veteran's choice. For veterans organizations like the American Legion, Eric Shinseki's resignation is an important first step. It's not about the personalities. The need to remove leadership was evident when the, we understood how broad these issues were. While fixing the most dire problems at the VA is issue number one for most decision makers here in Washington, there's also the question of accountability. And this could lead to revamping the system altogether, a task some here see as an uphill battle. There's a bureaucracy out there that knows that they're going to outlast the secretary, they'll outlast the president, and they certainly will outlast the chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Still, it's one which lawmakers... There are no other options other than to fix it. And most Americans believe is well worth fighting. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.